Hey, so it's been a while. I haven't vlogged in a very long time, but I thought that today, oh, hang on, is that better lighting? I thought that today I would take you with me because I am about to head into town to see what I can find for Christmas presents for my family this year. Um, my ethics don't change. Um, the things that I look for when I shop don't change depending on the time of the year or who I'm buying for. So I'm still going to be looking for things that are secondhand, that are um, ethically and sustainably made. And I'm going to be looking locally, preferably from like local makers, independent shops. Those are the things that I've got in mind. Um, let's see what we can find in Brighton. Um, so I'm going to take you with me. I thought I'd vlog it. It might be interesting. Uh, I know that I said a little while ago that like I'm not really making vlogs anymore and a lot of people said that they wanted to see vlogs that they were their favorite videos so I thought that I would do a vlog today so let's see what we can find I have nothing in mind really um I'm just gonna kind of go with the flow I'm not much of a shopper and I don't plan shopping I'm just gonna go and browse and see what we can get see what looks good and hopefully I'll be able to pick up a few items ready for Christmas so I don't have a last minute like oh what do I get for people so that's the plan so let's head so I took the bus into town and when I got there I saw a brand new XR mural right in the center of town which is just on theme and very beautiful then I first stopped and met a new friend in a cafe and also met a new friend in Ruby this little pup right here who is the sweetest little thing I thought you guys would enjoy as well so here you go. Then I went to some of the charity shops and was browsing some of the clothing section. Saw this cardigan that I thought was cute but it was really bobbled and too old so it wasn't worth buying. Then of course I found some things that I wanted to try on for myself. Went to the changing room, tried them on, realised they're not so great hot tip is always try things on because they might look okay on the hanger but even if they're a couple quid it's just not worth going home with something that you don't absolutely love tried on these two pairs of trousers didn't like either of them this third pair were okay and I was umming and ahhing about it um, couldn't make up my mind and then eventually decided just not to get them because if I'm not utterly in love with them and it's a maybe then I just leave it behind then found this beautiful open market right in town. Lots of really, really inexpensive, loose fruit and vegetables, great place to pick up. They also have this zero waste shop that I really like. It's like a little mini one in the, t in the heart of town, which I always stop by when I'm in the area. Then went into some more charity shops because Brighton is fantastic for thrifting. It's got so many charity shops. Found this really cute bag that I kind of liked myself, but I don't need another bag. And I don't really know of anyone off the top of my head who I could give it to. So again, left it, even though it's really cute. I used to hoard things like that and think, oh, just in case. And then I would have a load of things that I didn't really need and no one to give them to. So if I couldn't think of anyone in the shop, I'm not leaving the shop with it. Then I found some vintage shops, a um, bookshop that's a books for Amnesty. It's got some really great books in there. Was very tempted to get this book. Might go back and get it because I ended up leaving without it and regretted it. Then some more vintage thrifty shops. This place has a cart outside always where everything is, I think, a pound and they've always got some really great things. Almost got some baskets to make some um, like Christmas hampers filled with food and chocolates and goodies and treats, but decided not to do that. I've actually done that for quite a few years, so uh, I decided to hold that off as maybe come back and get that if I can't find anything else because it's a really great present. I've just done it quite a few times. Then I went into this big jumble yard market and found some really beautiful things, some really lovely things that I was contemplating getting but again like I said before if I don't find something absolutely perfect then I won't get it and that goes for gifts for other people as well because I would never want to give someone a gift 
that they didn't absolutely love and I wasn't sure that they would enjoy. Um, I know how it feels to be lumbered with a gift that you don't really need and then you're just kind of left with not knowing what to do with it. So I saw some beautiful things that I personally loved and that I wouldn't mind getting for gifts for myself but didn't know anyone who um, I thought would absolutely love it as well. So I left empty handed. So XR are holding a uh, free market today outside of the local uh, shopping center, like the main shopping center in Brighton town, uh, where we're just coming and donating things that we don't use anymore and people can come up and have them for free as a kind of response to Black Friday. Today is Black Friday. So I'm heading down there. I went through some of the things that I have that I no longer use and don't need anymore and I've made a little bundle of them and I'm going to take them down to donate so people can use them, take them for themselves or as Christmas gift for their friends and family. So here's what I found. I've got a like fisheye lens that you can stick on your phone and it creates like fisheye photos a couple of face masks that i haven't used they're like new um i've had them for like a very long time but i just never used them some bunting that i've had for like pretty much my entire life but it's in like perfect condition still and i'm just it's not my style anymore so i'm not going to be using it and uh, a t-shirt that i've worn i think like one time um that's so it's in good condition and it's like eco-friendly cotton soft and then a stack of books as well that I don't need anymore. So they're all like pretty good condition, pretty, like perfect condition, I would say, actually, all of them. Uh, I wanna give some things that are actually of value and that people can really take away something that's gonna be a really fantastic gift. So this is what I came up with. I'm gonna head down there now. The free market was held right in front of the big mall in town, which was great to see, right in front of all the fast fashion shops. We were holding this completely free market where people can just come up and get everything 100% off as a response to all of the Black Friday sales in the fast fashion places and um, unethical, unsustainable shops. So it was great to see so many people coming and donating and talking and discussing important topics and getting to know each other and just connecting which is what i think christmas is all about anyway and then um, taking away a few things for themselves and for gifts for other people i um donated the things that i had brought i hung up the t-shirt i lay some books down which i did notice were instantly grabbed by people around me i could see prying eyes and then they came up and uh, i took them pretty much immediately which was really nice because it meant that they were really keen on them and they got something that they really enjoyed I then perused the area for myself to see if I could pick up a Christmas gift for somebody and actually ended up going away with this little kind of knitted crochet top uh, for myself. So kind of a failure on the Christmas shopping front, but I did get something for myself, which felt good. And then I made some Christmas wreaths, um, which you would have seen on my Instagram story, one for a local um, zero waste shop and two for here, one for my front door, one for the living room and um, it was a really good day, all in all. Hi everyone, so it is a few days later, maybe like a week later since I last filmed that clip and um, I was hoping to show you kind of a haul of what I got. I kind of knew that that maybe wouldn't happen and it didn't because on that first day of shopping you saw, um, I actually don't know if I came back with anything. I think I might have bought like an essential oil for my brother. Didn't really pick up anything. And then at the free market, I didn't find anything either. So I've kind of just been um, picking up things here and there as I've been out and about, rather than going on a big Christmas shop for that intention. And like, that's just how it goes sometimes. Um, I'm not much of a shopper, like I said at the beginning of this video, and 
I don't tend to like go on shopping trips. I tend to just pick up things here and there when I see them. I find that that's actually um, a really great way to shop for people because then you're finding things that um, when you see them, they remind you of that person and they'll probably really enjoy them because um, you found like the perfect gift for them rather than going out and just buying something in one day because you're in a rush to do it. Um, so that's how I tend to do it. I just pick up things here and there, kind of not even necessarily near the time that I'm going to be gifting them. It doesn't have to be around Christmas or birthday or anniversary or any kind of celebration. I just kind of um, will come up with an idea, maybe write it down or um, pick up something if I see it and then give it to them when it's time or just give it to them as a gift just because you love them, you know. I'm going off on a tangent. So unfortunately, I didn't really pick up much on the days that I was filming, but I did pick up a few bits here and there. And I was gonna sit down and share them with you, but one, I know that some um, some of the people who I'm gonna be gifting watch my videos and I don't want them to know what I got them. But two, I kind of was thinking that it's not really important the objects that I specifically got for the people in my life. It was more my thoughts and my process of shopping that I wanted to portray and I think I did that anyway. Whether I picked up lots of things, one thing or nothing, I wanted to just share with you kind of how I shop sustainably around Christmas. However, a couple years ago, maybe a lot, no, maybe two years ago, I had made um, a kind of Christmas shopping guide with lots of physical things, actual items that you can buy sustainably for people for Christmas, but for any time of year. So I will link that up here. It'll be in the little eye and also down below. So if you are looking for that kind of video, be sure to check it out. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts on it in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up if you did like it. Subscribe if you're new here and I'll see you in the next video. All right, bye. Thank you.